Bugün bizi zevk öldü açalım. Check this video out. Well, we got a call about some honeybees in this hunting camper. As you see them, they are uh, coming in and out there at the bottom. So uh, I suited up and we originally thought the bees were up in the walls of the camper. So I peeled back two pieces of tin and removed some of the insulation and they were not there. So the only other place they could be was underneath. So I pried the tin down where I could see what was going on in there and that's where they were. So it's going to be a lot of time, a lot of time. laying down horizontal vacuuming bees. Vacuuming bees. Daddy, he's in that funny little suit. Yeah, that's me in that funny looking suit, but with all those bees, you gotta have it. It was a lot of bees. It was a lot of bees. Yep, I was glad for my suit. I got the vacuum going uh, and vacuumed for about 30 minutes. And then I just took this quick shot here of what it looked like after about 30 minutes of vacuuming they just kept coming down from the upper part of the combs and uh, it was a lot of bees it was a lot of bees my little custom bee vacuum don't fail me now so I went after it I think I started about 9 a.m. in the morning we're just gonna fast forward here speed it up video of uh, vacuuming bees and uh, trying to look for the queen as I went along uh, could not find her I find so she, I guess she just got vacuumed right up with the rest of them. They were not happy about us disturbing their home, which I can understand that. But we were going to relocate them to a new home instead of uh, being killed because the owner just wanted the bees gone, exterminate them if, he, if I couldn't get them. So it was worth a shot and I'm glad I got them. Glad I got them. Took about four hours really. Four hours. I'm glad it was not a hot day, it was a, so I thank the Lord it was not a bad, bad day. And we got all that honeycomb right there. Look. We got all that honeycomb. That was a lot of bees. Um, we couldn't, I did the best I could with all the framing under there and uh, kind of tight laying down, but in my opinion it was a huge hive. just gonna fast forward speed it up so the next thing I did just to try to get some of the uh, foragers and leftover bees that are swarming around I've got my little top bar nuke that we made some cutouts for in the last video and you can see that where I'm gonna use these rubber bands and cutouts here with brood comb and one with some honeycomb I tracked them into the top bar nuke Once I got got the uh, cutout set up, top bar nuke, I just set it over near where the bees were coming and going there by the hunting camper. I'm just cleaning up a little bit and then we make the trip home. Trip home, safely. And we set the uh, top bar hive up, put it on its stand and uh, made some more cutouts. What we're going to do is put the top bar cutouts on the left side there and the bees are on the right side and we'll just pull the corks out and they'll be released to the cutouts in their existing comb that they had from their old hive. Something to make it feel like home so they wouldn't abscond which you know is always a possibility. I couldn't get my hands down in there, so my better half had to reach down in there and pull the corks. We closed everything up, got out of Dodge, and left, left them alone. And here's some video of nine days later where we just left them alone. They're still there. I'm going to get in there and remove the vacuum section, put some top bars in there, and make some more cutouts with some 
extra comb that we had left over. Speed it up. I'm just moving some of these comb back to get put some more uh, made up, some more brew comb. I use some yarn and a yarn needle, and I just sewed um, uh, around the top bar and the comb through the comb and around the top bar and then tied it off in a knot that's it <laughs> that's it that's all and the bees will do the rest I'm just going to remove this other section here that I had for the um, where the bees, the vacuum hose here on this uh, piece of plywood. Put some top bars down and uh, be ready to close it up and leave them alone and let them do their thing. Keep you up to date. See you next time. Stay tuned for the next video.